What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and I'm really excited to show you guys the brand new Monday travel router from GLINet. This is a 4G LTE capable travel router. So if you are a road warrior, you're gonna wanna pick up this device. If this hotspot sandwich looks very familiar to you, you're gonna wanna pick up the Monday because it combines a GLINet travel router, combines a hotspot and a battery pack all into one. And yes, you can use this device even if you don't have a 4G LTE capable SIM card. So if you're at the hotel, motel, holiday inn, that sketchy bar, that local coffee shop, and you wanna keep yourself protected, you can use this device as a repeater and just connect to the Wi-Fi without having to worry about who's spying on you without have to worry about is my data secure this has a 7000 milliamp hour battery built into it it also has a sim card slot and well it has a lot of features built in that we have to check out together if you don't yet have a vpn service check out torguard and use my code jabber tech where you can save 50 percent off for life and get a free trial so at only a couple dollars a month you'll be able to keep yourself secure and safe wherever you go if you're interested in picking up this awesome travel router from glinet i'll leave the link in my description below but let's go ahead, set it up, and check it out together. Before we go through the setup process, let's just take a look at Monday together and what's inside the box. So you have a toggle switch on the left side, which easily turns on or off your VPN service. Now, if we take a look at this button on the right side, it just toggles through different information. It'll show you your SSID for your 2.4 and your five gigahertz network, as well as your password underneath it. So if you do share this with a lot of users, you can just leave that on and they can figure out the password for themselves. You also have your login information right over there and it'll show you if your VPN is currently on or off. So again, flipping this switch, it'll turn off your VPN and you get that little status right there, letting you know that your VPN is turned off and then flipping it back on, it's gonna turn on your VPN status. On the top is where you see your time, your signal strength, as well as your battery level, and inside is a 7,000 milliamp hour battery, which GLINet claims about 12 hours, and I've pretty much gotten close to what they claim, so no issues with battery life on this hotspot capable device. You also see what network you're connected to, how many clients are connected to your hotspot, as well as if your VPN is connected or not. And then finally, you do have your Wi-Fi status right over there. On the back is where you have your SIM card slot as well as a micro SD card slot for expandability. So you can share files, you can drop files from the web directly onto your Monday and just kind of use this as a file sharing device as well. You also have the reset pinhole right on the back and you can use this without a 4G capable SIM card. Just use it as you would any other travel router. So if you don't have a hotspot capable plan, you can still use this as a travel router. Taking a look at the bottom of the devices, you have two ports and thankfully this does charge using USB-C and that's absolutely amazing. I really like USB-C of all things. It just means that you really have to just keep one cable in your bag, making this a Road Warrior approved device. The other one is a USB-A, so you can pop in a 4G modem. If you have a USB modem, pop it in there and it's gonna share your connection. If your phone allows a wired tethering device, you can also connect the USB-A to the Monday and then connect your USB-C to your phone and share your internet that way. So again, USB-C of all things makes it really simple. Inside the box, this is everything that you're ever gonna need when you're on the road, when you're doing what you gotta do. So you do get a little travel adapter, but this being USB-C, just use any adapter that you currently have with your USB-C phone and you'll be just fine. You get this handy little USB-C to USB-C cable and it is a short cable making tethering super, super simple. And because this is USB-C of things, it's a multifunctional port, which means that if you plug in Monday first and then you take your USB-C phone, it can do a little power share thing going on and your phone can quickly charge up the Monday if you're in a pinch and you need to quickly charge this up. Just steal a little power from your phone and you're good to go. Next inside the box, we get this really cool adapter. And again, it is USB-C, so it is a great little adapter to keep. What it'll do for you, you can charge up the Monday device using USB-C. And if you connect this, it'll actually act as a bridge. So if you have an old school device that doesn't have Wi-Fi, go ahead and connect the included ethernet cable to your Monday, to whatever device you have that doesn't have Wi-Fi, and you can provide internet that way. And what you can also do as well, I've been in some hotels, believe it or not, where they give you free ethernet connection, but if you wanna to connect to Wi-Fi, they actually charge you. That's pretty stingy in my eyes, but you can say, I'm not gonna do that. Go ahead and connect this ethernet cable to the connection, connect it to this adapter, and then you'll be able to create your own Wi-Fi hotspot. 
using their ethernet connection. And this way you're safe and secure no matter how you connect to it. So this is a handy bridge device for whatever you're trying to connect, whether it's making an ethernet connection or taking from an ethernet into a Wi-Fi connection. This little device is perfect. That's everything you get in the box and it's perfect for you road warriors because it is USB-C. Just keep one cable with you at all times, charge your phone, charge the device, use it as a bridge, do whatever you need to do. Mundy has you covered. But let's go ahead, set it up together, and then I'm gonna give you my final verdict of GLI Net's newest Mundy travel router. So to access the user interface for the Mundy device, it's very simple. Just go ahead and check the IP address. That's displayed on the front LCD screen if you've forgotten it, but the default one is 192.168.8.1. And this is where you'll see everything that's going on with your Monday device. And it's a very clean, very simple to use, very easily recognizable interface from GLI Net. The Monday device really is a simple plug and play device. So whether or not you're comfortable setting up your routers or not, you're going to have no issues setting up the Monday. So if we take a look here, this shows you everything that's going on, how you're connected to the Monday device. So right now I'm connected with my T-Mobile hotspot and you can see that down here. If you were tethering from your phone, this would be lit up. If you're using it in repeater mode, again, you do not need to put in a SIM card to use the Monday device. It'll be displayed right here that it's in repeater mode. And then if you have a cable connected to it, if you're using an ethernet cable, it'll show you that right here. Now, right in the center, this is everything that's going on. I do not have my VPN active at the moment, but if I go ahead and switch on that toggle on the left side of the Monday, it's going to turn on my VPN and this should change to a nice check mark in just a second. Now it's just logging in. Let's give that a second to show and then I'll let you know what that looks like. On the bottom, this is your SSIDs right over here. So mine is called Jabbertech Hotspot and then Jabbertech 5G. And what's really cool about it, you can create two guest SSIDs as well. So if you want to kind of isolate the guest network, you can do so and set up two separate networks on their own for a total of four SSIDs on this tiny little Monday device. And right over here on the right side, you can see I have three wireless LAN clients connected and I don't have any LAN clients. That's because I am not using an ethernet cable at the moment. Now on the bottom right, this is where you see your temperature and you do want to kind of monitor this. You don't want this to get too hot. Do not leave the Monday in your pocket. I made that mistake once and my pocket was very, very warm. So again, when this is active, if it's not in standby mode, Definitely do not leave this in a pocket. You need it to get a lot of air in order for it to run properly. And then of course, here's your battery gauge right over here. Now on the bottom, I'm gonna change this and show you just in a second the different options. But if you do use this with a SIM card, if you do have a hotspot SIM card, it'll show you what network you're connected to. Give your IMEI address, your IP address, how much you've uploaded and how much you've downloaded. And then of course you can disconnect or if you wanna do a manual setup, you can do so right here. But for me and my experiences, it does a very good job of just plug and play. Once you insert that SIM card, you don't have to do anything else. In its default setting, your Ethernet port will be used as a bridge. So if you do connect an Ethernet cable to it, it's going to share your internet connection using the Ethernet cable. But if you want to connect the Monday in to say your modem directly, you can do so just like this. Or maybe you want to connect it to your router. All you want to do is click use as when and then it's going to switch it over and this is going to tell the monday device that you want to use that ethernet port to get access to the internet next option you have is repeater mode so if i want to disconnect the sim card altogether and then just use the monday device in repeater mode you can do so again you do not need to use a sim card if you don't want to this is a great device whether or not you use a sim card because it has that built-in 7000 milliamp hour battery you really can go to those coffee shops, the hotel, motel, holiday inn, connect with ease and make sure that you are protected, that you are secure, that nobody is watching what you're doing online. Now you can see that I've switched over from the SIM card and I'm using this in repeater mode and I am connected to a wireless network called Medina, but I'm still broadcasting my own Monday hotspot SSIDs right down here. One thing I want to show you, if you do have a SIM card in here and you do get a message, you'll see this little notification badge right down here. Clicking on the wireless tab, this is where you can set up your SSIDs, you can set up your password, you can either show or hide your wireless network SSID, you can change the channel if you want to, and then you can also just change the speed if you want to do so as well. And then of course, to change the TX power, if you are very close to the Monday device and you want to save a little bit of that battery life, just go ahead and switch this to low, medium, or high. And again, for the guest network, just go ahead and click on that guest tab and you can switch everything that you need to for the guest network. Clicking on the clients tab, this is where you'll see exactly who's connected, what devices are connected. 
You can block the internet if you want to. You see their IP address. You can see if they're connected with the 2G or 5G network. And then you can also see what devices were previously connected right down here. And if you click on this button up here, which I really like, you'll be able to see the real time traffic and speed. Basically, you'll be able to see what's going on with your router, who's using the most bandwidth. So if you are kind of stuck for bandwidth, if you need the most and maybe someone on your team is just watching YouTube or something, go ahead and click on the quality of service tab and you can limit their upload or download speed. And this is something that I personally really enjoy. It really is a full fledged router in a tiny package. Of course, the upgrade tab, this is where you'll see if you have any available updates. This is a great option. You have the auto upgrade feature here, which I usually enable. This way, if the Monday is online and it sees there's a new update, it'll just pull it and install it for you automatically. Clicking on firewall, this is where you can set your port forwards. If you want an open port or if you need a DMZ host, you can do so. So if you want your computer to have unlimited access without any firewall, without any blockage going on, go ahead and insert your IP or drag down from the list and it'll show you what's connected. So if you need any port forwards, you can do so here as well. Next, the VPN tab is perhaps the most important tab for me. I always use and recommend TorGuard. I've used them for quite a number of years. The service is really, really fast. I've never had any downtime. If you use code JabberTech, I'll leave the link in my description below. You can get a free trial and save 50% off for life. So at only a couple dollars a month, you can protect yourself. You can get around geo restrictions. You can stream your Netflix, your YouTube Red when you're abroad, or if you just want to watch maybe the BBC and you need that UK IP address, you can use TorGuard and get around some of those geo restrictions. But this is how you'll want to set it up and it's very simple to do. Just to show you how simple it is to get a config file from TorGuard, and this is why I recommend it again, it's super, super simple. At the top here, you can choose your OS and there is one for GLI Net. And then you want to go to your server list and choose which one you want to connect to. So maybe just for fun, Let's go to Canada and these options you really don't have to play with unless you want to. Click on generate config. It's going to give you all the options right down here if you need to copy and paste it. But you can see I've downloaded the necessary config file. So if I go back to my Monday device, go to management, add new VPN file, go to my downloads, click on 35.vpn. Now I'm going to insert a little description and say Canada, click on submit. Now I have two configuration files right over here and I can choose which one I want to connect to. So for the moment, let's go to status, go down to Canada, hit on connect. Now I've connected to Canada thanks to TorGuard's Canadian IP address. See that little check mark in the shield? If I go to what's my IP address, you can see that I am in Vancouver right now. So that's a little fun trick. Again, if you need to get around geo restrictions, this is the best way to do so. There also is a server here if you want to go ahead and generate a configuration file for other devices to connect to your Monday, to connect to its own VPN server. You can just click on generate a config file. Next, what I like about GLINet, they do include WireGuard support. And again, TorGuard is one of the few VPN companies at the moment that's giving us a WireGuard server. So you can connect to WireGuard with your TorGuard account and it is free. It is not an extra feature like some other VPN servers are trying to charge for. If you want to set up your own WireGuard server, again, it's as simple as clicking on this tab and you'll be able to connect to your own Monday WireGuard server. Next, you have an internet kill switch. And basically what this does, if you lose connection to your VPN, it's going to stop all traffic. Next, a great option to have is VPN policy. So basically, maybe you want your laptop to connect directly to your ISP and you want your Android TV device to connect directly to the Monday device, but you want it to use your VPN. All you'd have to do is set up one of the options here, allow only the following use of VPN or do not use VPN for the following. And it is that simple. You can just pull down a drop down tab and select whichever device you want to select. You also have Tor support. So if you want to enable that, you can and you can choose whatever exit node country you want to enable. You can just click on random and it'll be random. Next, we have file sharing support here. So if you do have a pen drive connected to that USB A port or you have a micro SD card inserted, you can share via your LAN, you can share via the wireless network, and you can also make it writable. So if you want to download directly to, say, a 256 gigabyte SD card right on your Monday, all you have to do is go ahead and enable this option, click on agree, and then make sure to share it via all the available options. That's LAN and WAN. This way, when you want to download something, you can download directly to it. Remote access is as simple as that. You can have remote access to your Monday device, and it uses some different options here using good cloud service. 
Next, what we have here is a captive portal. So this way it'll give some sort of terms of service if you want to enable that for whoever connects to your Monday device. And you can set up a lease time as well. You can change the LAN IP address if you want to, and you can have a static IP address binding as well. You have a Mac clone, and this is very useful if say you only are allowed one Mac address to connect to a Wi-Fi network or to an ethernet network. This comes in handy again if you are in the hotel or maybe you're somewhere where they only give you one device that you can connect to. All you have to do here is go ahead and change the MAC address of your Monday device to whatever address you have registered. And this way you can connect a thousand devices, not really a thousand guys, but you know what I'm trying to say. You can connect multiple devices and the other end, the other computer on the other end is only gonna recognize one. This comes in very handy. Again, in those hotel situations where they are very stingy with their ethernet, with their internet access, just go ahead, change your MAC address, you're good to go. Next, we have custom DNS server settings. And again, most people will never use this, but if you are an advanced user and you wanna change your DNS server, you can do so. GLINet give us a very powerful travel router in a very small package. Next, the button settings that allow you to change the button on the left side, and you can have it turn on WireGuard, you can have it turn on OpenVPN, or you can toggle Tor on or off, or you can have no function whatsoever. Going into network mode, you have different options here. Monday can work for you, whatever you need it to do, whether that be a router, access point, extender, or WDS. Again, the Monday device from GLINet is super powerful. It's a very powerful travel router. Don't let its size confuse you and think that it's a watered down router. This is probably more powerful than what you have right now. This has been a look at the all new Monday travel router from GLINet. It's a very powerful, very capable travel router. Everything that you ever want in a router is right in here from that 7,000 milliamp hour battery to a nice LCD screen to SIM card 4G LTE hotspot support to being able to insert a micro SD card, to be able to insert a pen drive, to be able to do basically anything that you want it to do. If you're a road warrior, this should definitely be in your backpack, definitely be in your briefcase, because it's gonna keep you protected, keep you secure, and it's really just gonna be your companion for wherever you go, wherever life takes you. Take Monday with you. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.